Hey guys, it's Robin and welcome to the Science of Self-Care. I am so excited to get you pumped today about bones. <laughs> your beautiful, beautiful bones that deserve your attention and care because they're actually key to you aging well. Let me explain. So anti-aging and self-care are becoming very trendy topics because we're all realizing that our lifestyle directly influences our physiology. There's a lot of focus on skincare, on gut health. I don't hear too many people talking about bone health and your bones are super duper important to how your body ages and what you're able to do when you're older. To me, nothing says aging well like being able to roller skate in your 90s. <laughs> or do whatever fun physical activities or outdoor activities that you personally enjoy. If we don't have strong, healthy bones, we're not gonna be able to do those activities. We need healthy bones. We need them to be able to physically move around, but we also need them to be strong enough that in case we have some sort of accident, like we fall while we're roller skating, that it's not going to leave us bedridden or cause really serious injuries. And this is where having strong bones is such good insurance as you age. If I also have to appeal to our vanity, having strong, dense bones ensures that we maintain an aligned spine and an upright posture. It's also relevant for aging in our face because our face begins to sag when there's volume loss in our face, whether that's facial fat loss or bone loss. If your bones are becoming less dense, your bones will actually become smaller and they won't be able to offer as much support to the skin and the muscles and the fat on your skin. So <laughs> that's appealing to the vanity. I don't like to focus too much on the ways that we look because I think the more important part about our bodies is how we feel on the inside and making sure that our insides are healthy. But it is true that when we look in the mirror and we have a strong, upright posture and we look vibrant, that we also feel vibrant and energized rather than exhausted or defeated. Now I'd like to share three easy ways to take care of your bones that have nothing to do with eating more calcium. I'm a 90s kid. My mom always told me, drink lots of milk for your bones. Well, it turns out as an adult, I am <laughs> lactose intolerant and... There are many, many more ways to take care of your bones besides drinking milk. So I'm gonna discuss three of those today. Number one, which is impact or low intensity vibrations. <laughs> this sounds weird, but your bones actually get stronger when they're impacted or even slightly injured a bit. It's just like muscles. When we work out our muscles, we tear them and injure them a bit. And as they rebuild, they rebuild stronger and you actually increase your muscle mass. The same is true for your bones. So how can you actually cause this impact to your bones? Exercises like running, walking, even some jumping and high intensity resistance training, these are all going to literally cause vibrations to go through your bones as you hit the ground. For example, when you're running, every time your foot hits the pavement, those vibrations go up through your bones, through your skeleton, and actually cause your bone cells to grow and to heal themselves and to become stronger and it will increase your bone density. So impact exercises, you guys know how much I love walking. Well, just getting outside consistently and causing some impact on your body <laughs> is gonna be so good for your bones. It's also why you see elderly people who stay moving, who walk upstairs, who walk all around town, they stay a lot healthier and their bones stay a lot healthier than elderly people who have less physical activity in their routine. Number two, don't under eat. It's really important that every day you eat balanced whole meals that are offering your body enough calories because the second that you start to under eat, your body is going to be mining your own bones for those nutrients. So even in studies with obese women who are trying to lose weight, if they're on a calorie restricted diet at 925 calories, which is under eating, after four months, their bone density is greatly decreased. So if you are looking to lose excess weight, it's really important that you map out a long-term plan to lose weight gradually so that you're not doing any crazy crash diets and actually depleting your bones and causing them to become weak. <laughs> it might not be something that you're concerned with now, depending on your age, but your older self will thank you for just eating whole balanced meals. 
Next, I want to talk about an underrated vitamin, which is vitamin K2. It's estimated that I think 90, above 90% of Americans are deficient in. Either way, most adults are not getting enough K2, and it's so, so important for your bones. Specifically, what vitamin K2 does is it helps draw calcium away from our soft tissues, like our arteries, and it helps deposit that calcium into our bones. So it's literally mining calcium in our bodies and putting it into our bones. That's what we want. It also helps activate vitamin D3. And if you are familiar with vitamin D3, this is such an important vitamin for our bones because vitamin D3 actually helps build proteins that shuttle calcium to our bones. So vitamin K2 helps activate D3 so that it can continue to build those proteins that are gonna help our bone health. So ideally, you wanna take a D3 and K2 complex. I'll go get mine. This is not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> Everything on this channel is really what I use. Um, this, let's see. This one from Thorn is what I use. I love this so much. It's based in caprylic acid, which is a medium chain triglyceride found in coconut oil. And then it just has some vitamin D3, some vitamin K2, and a little bit of vitamin E, I think, to help preserve this. It's amazing and a little side hack that has nothing to do with bones, but this is so good for skin. So if you're also looking for a facial oil that is non-comedogenic and is gonna really hydrate and heal your skin, this one is the one I'm obsessed with. Anyways. <laughs> Back to bones. So these are my three little bone tips. I hope I got you a little bit more excited about taking care of your bones, or at least more aware of the importance of bone health. To me, aging well means being able to do everything you love as long as possible, and having healthy bones are so key to that. So be sure to take care of your bones. You can follow this channel on Instagram at science.of.selfcare. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, guys.